<clears throat> the Top 20 Smartest People in History by Zach Hall. Today I've threw together a little PowerPoint presentation for you going over the top 20 smartest people in history. Some facts about them, what did they achieve, you know, their accomplishments, what's significant about them. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Number one, the most fitting person to be at the top of the list, Albert Einstein. Uh, first fact about Albert Einstein was he was a German-born physicist who developed the theory of relativity. I would say that's probably what he's known for the most. He once E equaled MC Hammer. Crazily enough, he did marry his first cousin. He offered his wife his Nobel Peace Prize as part of their divorce settlement. This is before he married his first cousin. Uh, the, the, the wife before her. Uh, the FBI spied on him for decades. He had no ties to Russia. A lot of people think he did, but he had no ties to Russia. Um, he created the atomic bomb. He was a civil rights activist. <laughs> he grabbed physics by the subatomic particles. And last but not least, a lot of people didn't know this about him, but he was the 45th president of the United States. Next up, we have Stephen Hawking. Stephen William Hawking was an English theoretical physicist. Am I pronouncing that correctly? He's a cosmologist, author, and director of research at the Center for Theoretic Theoretical Cosmology within the University of Cambridge. So he's a smart guy. To prove backwards time travel wasn't possible, Stephen Hawking hosted a party for time travelers, and no one came to it, which was the whole point. You know, he sent out invitations after the party ended too. Some other fun facts about Stephen Hawking was he was most famously known for stopping the Death Star trash compactor, <laughs> and he gathered a droid army. Next on the list here, we have Adolf Hitler. Um, Adolf Hitler is known for deleting 33,000 emails. Hitler was also responsible for millions of deaths. <laughs> and uh, he was a leader of the Nazi Party of Germany from 1933 to 1945. He also abused his political office to amass a large fortune. Uh, was kind of a man of the fine arts. You know, acquired a bunch of fine pieces of art. Ironically enough, he was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. And uh, he was Time Magazine's Man of the Year in 1938. Crazy. Never actually won a presidential election. Never actually did. Uh, rose to power and uh, was it with a dictator and overthrew the government and just kind of like took control, I guess. If you look over here at the picture, he looks a little different without the mustache. But uh, that's because he actually shaved part of his mustache because his full mustache nearly killed him. He had a full mustache in World War I. If you guys know anything about Hitler, he was a World War I German hero. And uh, in World War I, there was a lot of like gas attacks. People were using um napalm or is napalm a gas i guess i don't know they're using all sorts of different gases to kill people so they had gas masks and hitler's mustache was so long that the mask couldn't seal on his face and gas was seeping into it inside of it and it almost killed him and next up we have jeffrey epstein didn't kill himself how did that get in there nikolai tesla uh, he fell in love with a pigeon one of the brightest minds of the 19th and 20th century in my opinion Awesome, awesome inventor. Thomas Edison actually stole a lot of the ideas from this guy. Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanic engineer, physicist, and futurist, best known for creating the Tesla Vehicle Company and SpaceX. He was born during a lightning storm. Ironically enough, if I remember correctly, he was born on the day of the 300th anniversary of Galileo's death, and he died on Albert Einstein's birthday. Um, he had over 300 patented inventions, many of which we use every day. The man was way above his time. Uh, I mean, back in the 1920s, he was talking about cell phones and internet. Uh, he did work for Thomas Edison, like I said before there. Thomas Edison stole a lot of his ideas. And he did create a death ray. He created a death ray among a bunch of other cool things that are still classified that the government hasn't released. He actually claimed to create a time travel machine, too. Next up, we have Newton. Newton was the lead singer of Motley Crue, where he famously asked people to give him dirt. 
He was an English physicist and a mathematician who is widely recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all time. He was named after a Fig Newton bar. He created calculus, discovered gravity, is indirectly responsible for half of the bar fights in rural America. And this is actually true. He died a virgin. He stuck a needle in his eye socket on purpose to learn more about uh, anatomy and the way that the human eye works. He was a famous astronaut who taught the world how the universe works as well. Leonardo da Vinci. He is noted as one of the best painters of all time, painting portraits such as the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, and the Vertrivian Man. He was the coolest Ninja Turtle. Facts. He finally won an Oscar in 2016 for Best Actor, his movie The Reverend. Uh, da Vinci was uh, big into human anatomy, so he snuck into graveyards at night to steal corpses so he could study uh, human anatomy. I never knew this up until recently, but he actually died from hypothermia after the Titanic sank. So on the Atlantic Ocean, he was uh, floating on a door, and uh, you know he was in the water and he was submerged in the freezing cold Atlantic Ocean for so long that he actually died from hypothermia. Some of the notable inventions that Da Vinci created, uh, and this guy has a lot, and I didn't have enough room to put them all in here, but uh, he invented the parachute, the helicopter, an armored fighting vehicle, which actually kind of looks like a mix between like a tank and a UFO, but it's kind of cool. It had like a bunch of guns shooting out each side, like every foot there was like a barrel of a gun, and it was considered to be invincible. He figured out how to use solar power. He created a calculator, a clock, and like I said, much more. And he influenced the generation with his famous role as Jordan Belford on the Wolf of Wall Street movie. Next on deck, we have Benjamin Franklin. He's one of the founding fathers of the United States. Uh, Benjamin Franklin does not dance. He makes money moves. He was a leading author, painter, political theorist, politician, Freemason, postmaster, scientist, inventor, humanist, civic activist, statesman, and diplomat of his time. And not really just his time, of all time. The guy was um, elite, that's why he's on this list, very, very smart. Uh, he only had two years of formal education. He was a member of the International Swimming Hall of Fame. And he actually got his start through the internet app Vine. He was making a bunch of uh, vines out there singing uh, different songs, I guess, at the time when he was a stripper. And uh, that's how he got his internet fame and uh, turned into this guy that we all know and love today. The first solo female rapper to reach number one on the Billboard's Hot 100 chart since Lorraine Hill in 1998. He invented a better postal system and the lightning rod. I think he's the one that's responsible for like the government creating um, the USPS, United States Postal Service. So we can thank him for uh, that and last but not least trash next up we have Thomas Edison and famously Thomas Edison played the Green Lantern in the Green Lantern movie uh, he was an American inventor and businessman who's been described as the greatest inventor of all time uh, he invented the light bulb the phonograph uh, motion pictures we can thank him for creating that so you guys can watch me and over thousands of other patented inventions the guy created a lot he discovered electricity during his role as Detective Pikachu in the Detective Pikachu movie. He also refused to join the X-Men. He lost the Twitter ego war with Hugh Jackman. It was kind of close. He had a couple good points, a good, couple good one-liners, but uh, ultimately he did lose that. He was also considered a narcissist and thief by people who knew him personally. And he taught his daughter that the sun goes down each night because it's mad at her. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi or better known as Gandhi, uh, the father of India. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. He fought for Indian independence from the British rule uh, and for the rights of the Indian poor. He was the greatest. He murdered a rock into a stone, hospitalized a brick, and the guy was so mean he made medicine sick. Some notable things about him is that he protested peacefully for his causes. You know, he never was violent with anything. He was the world heavyweight boxing champion of the world and he ain't fight no wars. Next up here, we have George Washington. George Washington was the first president of the United States, as most people know. He was a grill master. He was awarded the highest rank in the US military ever. Nobody will ever outrank him. 
In 1978, his presidential salary was 2% of the total U.S. budget. But he actually wasn't the richest president in history. He was for a while, and then Trump took office. George Washington was the second richest president in history with a, uh, like a net worth of $586 million when you adjust for inflation to today's currency. But despite all that, I guess he was still really bad at managing his money because he had to borrow money um, in order for his inauguration. So, uh, rich guy, cool, good for him. In 1968, he was the Olympic heavyweight boxing gold medalist in the Summer Olympics. Uh, he led the Revolutionary Army to defeat the British Empire to establish America as its own democracy. He never did actually chop down the cherry tree. It's a myth. Uh, his face is on the $1 bill, and he has sold over 1 million grills since he started that company. Next up, we have Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs put a stapler in Jell-O. He founded the company Apple, as everybody knows. He uh, ate a tuna sandwich on his first day of work and was nicknamed Big Tuna. And uh, Jobs was pushed out of his own company in 1985, which is actually one of the best things to ever happen to him because it gave him time to kind of like get out of his normal day-to-day -day life that he was living for a while and get back in touch with his creativity side. And then he went out and he bought the company uh, Pixar and was it like Mac and, Macintosh, I think he created. And then uh, Apple started to go downhill. Basically what he did was he created a competitor to uh, the company he started, Apple, and forced them to buy him out so he could come back in and get the control and share of the company again, be the CEO. Uh, Bill Clinton once invited Jobs to spend the night in the White House in Lincoln's bedroom. That's pretty cool. Uh, he often parked in spots reserved for the handicap. Hey, the guy's trying to save some time. Uh, another fun fact about Steve Jobs that's not on here is he he never had license plates on his vehicles. A uh, guy lived in California, and in California there's a rule. You have six months to put a license plate and register your vehicle, and all he would do is he would alternate vehicles every six months. He also called experimenting with LSD as one of the two or three most important things he's ever done in his life. He married Pam and he created the iPhone. Julius Caesar, he is uh, one of the top three sales of all time. He came, he saw, and he conquered. He was a Roman dictator, politician, and military general who played a critical role in the events that led to the demise of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. He was kidnapped by pirates when he was in his 20s, when he was, uh, was it 22? Uh, Julius Caesar traditionally has about 470 calories. He's actually named after a casino resort in Las Vegas. That's how he got his name. And he's remembered as one of the greatest military minds in history, despite doing a lot of bad things. Next up, we have Bill Gates. Bill Gates is the number two richest man in the world. He hit 100 million YouTube subscribers in 2019. He wrote his first software program at the age of 13. He went to, was it like Lakeview, I think, if I remember right, Lakeview High School. It's kind of crazy because the guy got lucky enough, we'll call it luck, where he went to one of the only schools in the country that had a computer and he just, just immersed himself in it. He plays video games for a living now and he dropped out of Harvard. Uh, this is one of the most notable things he's probably known for is being the founder of Microsoft. He pledged to give away 99% of his wealth to charity, uh, whether it's during his lifetime or after his death. He's only going to leave $10 million, a small $10 million, to each one of his kids. And uh, he has his own video game called PewDiePie, Legend of Brofist. It was released on September 24, 2015. And he's Swedish. Okay, Helen Keller. Next we have Ronald Reagan. Reagan was the first African-American president. He created Obamacare. His last movie role was in 1964 in the movie The Killers. Uh, Ronald Reagan was the first person elected as a president to have been divorced. He enjoyed jelly beans and he never inhaled. He could prove his citizenship. Some cool political things that Reagan did was reduce the growth of government spending. He reduced the federal income tax and capital gains taxes. He's labeled as one of the top Republican presidents of all time, but he wasn't a Republican until 1962. Um, next up here, we have the center of a lot of controversy, Nelson Mandela. He was a president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He became one of South Africa's first black lawyers. 
one of the notable things about this guy is, uh, you know, he was a big civil rights activist for black rights in South Africa. He is the host of the Impulsive Podcast, the number one podcast in the world currently. Uh, he was a symbol for the oppressed in South Africa who were fighting for rights. Uh, like I said before, he was a big civil rights activist in South Africa. He received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993 for peacefully destroying the apartheid regime. Probably the coolest thing about him, though, is he's friends with Mike Malak, and he's famous for promoting a message of forgiveness and equality. And he did spend 27 years in jail, but instead of being greeted as a criminal when he got out of jail, uh, he was greeted as a hero on his release. So, very brilliant mind throughout history. Next up, we have Kanye West. Kanye West is a genius. He is a voice of a generation. He's a musical prodigy. He's a genius, he's married to Kim Kardashian, he's a fashion designer, likes fish sticks, but is not a gay fish, and he's a genius. He's won 27 Grammys. Donald Trump. Donald Trump created Facebook. He's building a wall. He took $1 million from his father as a loan, and he turned it into over $3 billion. Uh, pretty impressive. He dropped out of Harvard, as all of you probably already know. He's a real estate mogul. Uh, he's known for being very awkward. Uh, very awkward social speaker, has Asperger's. Hates the fake news, obviously. Uh, we see that on a daily basis. And legal immigration. He turned down many offers to sell Facebook. So it was like 2008 or 9. Yahoo actually offered him... Uh, one billion dollars to buy out the controlling stake of Facebook and he turned it down uh, very smart guy uh, he owns and operates 18 golf courses across the world along with uh, multiple casino resorts and uh, a ton of different hotels uh, nobody can match his soil okay let's see who we have here we have Warren Buffett obviously as you can tell by the picture he's the owner of the world famous restaurant Hell's Kitchen He's actually considered one of the greatest investors of all time. He uh, bought his first stock when he was only 11 years old. It's crazy because most people, most people don't even know how a stock works and this guy's buying them when he's 11. Crazy. He once threw Joan Collins out of his restaurant for being rude. This is what he said his last meal would be. Sea bass with a light sorel sauce. This is one of my favorite things about Warren Buffett that I don't feel like it's ever publicized about him, but it just shows how much of a savage this guy is. He short sold stocks in high school that his teachers had their 401ks invested in. So short selling is basically betting on the fact that the stock is going to go down and then you make money on when the stock goes down. Uh, so he would make money off of his teachers not making money in their 401ks. He spends 80% of his day reading. Him and Bill Gates go on reading vacations three weeks out of the year where they just go to some fancy place and uh, do nothing but read. He drinks an alarming amount of Coca-Cola each day. He's also been asking Bobby Flay for five years now to compete against him on Iron Chef. And Bobby Flay keeps turning him down. Guys just got fucking raw talent for picking winning stocks. All right, and last off here we have, yep, obviously Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong isn't ever regarded as a super smart person throughout history. But he was. The guy was very, very smart. Um, he's the first man to walk on the moon. That's what he's known for. But the guy was probably one of the most brilliant minds to ever come through the aviation industry. I mean, the guy could fly literally anything. That's why he was recruited to NASA, be the pilot, during the moon mission in 1969. When he actually landed on the moon, he was famously quoted for saying, this is one small step for man and one giant leap for Old Spice. Another thing about Neil Armstrong I don't have on this list here. I'm just going to say it ahead of time. He wasn't necessarily concerned about being the first man to walk on the moon. He was really concerned about just landing on the moon. He didn't think he was going to be able to land on the moon, um, but they pulled it off, in theory. Uh, but that conspiracy theory is a song for another time. Neil Armstrong, he's an American cyclist. You know, after he got done um, doing moon missions and stuff and being an astronaut, he was an American cyclist who was the only rider to ever win seven Tour de France titles while having testicular cancers uh, until they were obviously all <laughs> revoked from him for uh, getting caught doping. And, uh, you know, after that all happened, he kind of jumped into the acting space and he played Chris's father, Julius, on the show Everybody Hates Chris. 
I actually learned how to fly before he got his driver's license. He really didn't want to be only known as the man who walked on the moon because he had a bunch of other accomplishments throughout life. So kind of to separate himself from the crowd, he went over to the University of uh, Cincinnati and he became a professor. And I think that only lasted for about nine months or so until he uh, went off and did something else there. But uh, Neil Armstrong, he also played for four different NFL teams. A lot of people probably didn't know that. He, he jumped around from NFL team to NFL team in the 90s until he started to pursue an acting career in the year 2000. He won the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award, and he has a Twitter account for his muscles. That's it, guys. Let's see if we can bring this up a little bit bigger for you. But that's really all we have for this here, so... Um, you know, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. We're going to try and shoot for about three videos a week. Comment down below the biggest takeaway you had from this video. What's your favorite fact that you learned here? And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.